Dr. Sharp Market Watch here this Sunday, yes, at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, give or take an hour depending on time change. You're gonna have Sleeve Chief with the Fire Over Sleeves. These look absolutely gorgeous. Uh, they also have Dark World, which is another fantastic design. The Millennium um, Over Sleeves basically gives you a feel of the ancient Millennium items. You have Tunes. I've seen a lot of interesting tune designs. And of course, we have Labyrinth, which I definitely like these. Leave a link down below and use discount code MCO40 and save on your purchase. Let's pass on over to Marco Watch, shall we? Make sure you guys smash the other link crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more Oz content. Hey, Pod Collection, you know what's really, really cool about this? They're out. And um, nobody can list them at the moment because they're still on the pre sale phase. 1124 is the shipping day. Really weird that people still got theirs in hand, but okay. Um, the seals are actually turning over right now at about 315. When did we pay for these? What were they like? 200? I don't even remember. This one, I think it was like 500 after the crazy shipping cost that these had going for them. But if you were interested in like the niche pots, yeah, the Pot of Generosity sold out at $2. I love that. Pot of Duality, the Pot of Avers. Hi. Huh. Wonder which ones ideal to wait. Thanks for the good ones. Pot of Acquisitiveness, they just didn't even list. <laughs> it's like, no. Screw it. Shard of Greed's at $2. Yeah. Like, if you wanted the meme pots, they're so cheap. The Desires are 22s. Spirit of Pot of Greed is at 2 Nice quarter century Pot of Greed didn't even bother to list it. Benevolence is 2 and $2. I actually do wonder, all jokes aside, where the terrible pots are going to settle on the secondary market. Because, like, inherently, they don't really have a lot of value. Also, how are they going to list the figures? Can we even sell the figures on here? Like, can we buy the figures? What if I'm interested in just acquiring, you know, the... <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, the figures are, like, up to here on a pin. So like you stick that in there, it's going to spin around. Like it's crazy to me how small those are. But yeah, that's that's an insight look into what's going on with your pot collection. It's all within the realm of expectations. I know a lot of people are hoping that you know we get these before the prosperity reprint actually hit because everybody's like, "Oh, you know, we can play these, you know, we'll have like 2 months." Yeah, we see what happened there. You know, this gets a reprint. And hold on here, bear with me here. November, December, January, February. Well, that's a lot of months. Okay, well, there's no way people are still buying the card, right? There's no way it ramped up from $45, $75 when it's got a reprint coming soon, right? Nah, there's no way people are paying this. Wow! Yeah, insert a lot of sarcasm here, by the way, because I'm still impressed with this. This card has managed to ramp itself up to $80, and it's got a reprint coming soon. I'm impressed, Market, but once again, th this is the competitive scene at its finest. People go, well, I need it now. The future reprint does not fix the, I need a hamburger today, I'll pay you for it tomorrow, kind of thing. You know, the tomorrow is, I need the reprint, but I need the, this is the burger in the metaphorical terrible example. So yes, we, we do need this in order to play. Thank you, Horus Cards, for showing us that we can play such a fantastic card. And thank you, Market, for letting this happen. If you do have this card and you're holding on to it, you're like, ah, this is great. <laughs> Prepare for the worst case scenario. Do you also know that Morganites are about $5 right now? Like, I, I don't know what's going on with this, but, well, I do know what's going on with this. Um, it needs a reprint in an extremely higher rarity. But <laughs> Stun, or Runic Stun has found a way to kind of be playing this right now. It's kind of the dark horse in the super back part of the room that nobody's really talking about right now. But Morganite never, hasn't gotten a reprint. And people are even spending upwards to like actually spending five dollars for these. So, am I surprised? No. Do I think this card's gonna hit ten dollars? I don't know. I I don't. Morganite's kind of like the wild card of the format. It depends how long Konami wants to leave Runic 
sitting around as a degenerate floodgate deck somewhere in the back. And the longer they let this set, then then I could see it gaining some crazy numbers. But for now, I, I just I don't see it happening. You know, now, I don't know if I missed something back here, but Chimera Tech Overdragon, you had a market price at sixty seven dollars, and it's because somebody bought a damaged one, and then you have mod plays at a hundred and a hundred. But your lowest mod play first edition right now is actually a hundred and forty six dollars, uh, and then these jump up very very quickly. Like, a first ed is $260. Like, but who's out here checking high rarity Chimera stuff, to be honest with you? Because, like, I only saw this because I saw little movements back here. And, like, the Seeker, huh, had a 450 marker price, huh? 360. Dual terminals, three bucks. Golds, huh? Still come. These golds are still kind of cheap. But you got some very interesting movements. In that high category for, I, I guess, like the good stuff. Ah, Dragon Maid Lapore. Yeah, it's the only one printing for this. Hey, Konami, where's our Dragon Maid support? We gonna get that sometime this millennium? I'm just asking. Six, six, and five fifty. Um, yeah, nice, nice six dollars, by the way. Um, and then six, six thirty. Yeah, they. I don't feel like much has really changed back here, but once again, I mean, it's Dragon Maid support. It's a fan favorite. Deck's not really doing much right now. Not all that surprise. Cyber Dragon Infinity, huh? Still glad to see that we have 91 listings and a good chunk of these still doing their thing. And these, uh, not really a lot of sales data on this. Um, just checking in on this. It's been a little while. Um, wow, that's a, that's a lot of foreign copies just dropping on me there and amongst the Korean versions as well. Yeah, you're looking at about six. I do believe this is one of the ones that the first edition is a little bit more. No, about the same. Wow. Pretty good to see him still cruise controlling. Hi, Minerva, the exalted lights one. You know, these are down to six dollars at the moment. And to be fair, I don't know if they're going to reprint this. They really should. It just takes Lightsworn support smashing through a front door somewhere for this card to just immediately shoot up. But to be fair, Minerva, for most of its life, was like an $8 card. So the see that these have pushed down, it's kind of crazy. If you want to talk about crazy, though, Super Air Minerva's $2,700 at this point. <sighs> also, what's up with this? I, I know that we saw Dempsey getting bought out, but you gotta remember, nobody wanted to open up Duel's Pack Fire, which means what's gonna happen? Well, the Invisible Hand's doing its thing. Um, all the volcanic players out here have been causing this card to go up. To be fair, I mean, this card was kind of always like a $6 card for most of its life. Not a lot really changed with this, but, you know, once these are gone, He's going to be a $10 card, and thinking about that means the Volcanics technically aren't budget anymore, which I know, that's really disappointing. Uh, comic Hands, oh boy, Ultra Rares. You know, I just want to show that this card's still $3, effectively across the board, and I love it. All right, like, the green schnozberries are $3, the purple berries are threes, Comic Hands still threes for blueberries, yeah, all the rainbow is doing its thing. Also, Dark Spirit's Mastery. You know, I understand that we do have the common, but like 59 listings at 230. Um, this is something just to kind of observe over time. It takes one card to re-break this and see what actually happens. So see what happens with this. Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. Hmm. Huh. Nice old alti. And still sitting at about. Eleven dollars. Nothing really changes with this guy, honestly. Uh, this is an absolute dragon. Absolute got a little bit more success as of late, but it wasn't really a lot. High dried winds. Ah, yes, the aroma mage support that we've got coming out in Phantom Nightmare. Bet you're excited about that. Fourteen, eleven, and sixteen dollars, and it has sales from a couple days ago. You know, this is one of the cases where I question the English versions for how much they are. I look down here at the $8 German version and go, huh, maybe, maybe I would save, or maybe I would buy the cheaper version. Yeah, yeah, I think I would. 
Frost and Flame Dragon. Now, this is an old time favorite of mine. Love the Speed Duel GX version. Only 67 listings. Hmm. But uh, Tactical Evolution First Editions. $40. These are really something, man. This is one of the coolest looking cards you can get. Yeah, 40 plus. And they ramp up to 65 for First Ed Arenas. Trust me, this is one of the nicest looking Seeker Rares that you can have for the way that it looks from the old stuff. And of course, Mardell's. Hmm. I love the fact that the you have the 30 cent versions down here from Ghosts from the Past, but Secret's still floating about a pretty solid $4. Genuinely interesting. So that is everything we have for today's market. Not a lot of craziness, but interesting little things. Nonetheless, so please, if you comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.